The World Artificial Intelligence Exhibition in China A robotic nurse, a robotic pizzeria, artificial skin, the latest military robots and drones The World Artificial Intelligence Conference, World Artificial Intelligence Forum 2021, was inaugurated at the Shanghai Expo Center. As always, we have compiled for you the most interesting news from this event. Huawei presented its vision and technical documentation for the smart city. Just as the human nervous system detects and responds to changes in the body, a smart city built on Huawei's platform can recognize, process information, and make informed decisions that improve conditions for residents. To create the nervous system of smart cities, the latest information and communication technologies were used, combining cloud computing, the Internet of Things, big data, and artificial intelligence, which make it possible to implement solution analysis and with the provision of reports in real time. Artificial intelligence in a smart city must encompass perception of the city, decision-making, and execution and management. Huawei's Cloud Pangu model, one of the world's largest machine vision pre-learning models with 3 billion parameters, is a key part of the smart city. It's one of the top 10 super AI leader stars at the 2021 conference. Today, Huawei Cloud is already working on smart infrastructure in 10 cities across the country, including Shanghai. UB Tech Robotics hosted the world premiere of a new version of its Walker X robot at the WAIC 2021, making it the largest commercially available humanoid robot in China. The robot can walk stairs and rough terrain, balance on one leg, massage with force control, play chess and perform autonomous navigation with visual positioning. The Walker X is designed to be a voice-activated home assistant with 41 servo joints, multi-dimensional force perception, stereo vision, omnidirectional hearing, inertia and other perception systems are listed as the main advantages of the new robot. The robot's planning and gate control technology has been updated for faster and more stable walking. The robot's maximum speed is now 3 km an hour. As for intelligence, Walker X received an update as USLAM visual navigation technology to implement autonomous path planning, algorithms for object detection and recognition based on deep learning, algorithms for recognizing faces, gestures and other objects in complex environments, and algorithms for accurate understanding and perception of the environment around it. The robot can autonomously control refrigerators, coffee machines, vacuum cleaners and other household appliances. It can even serve tea and water and mimic emotions such as empathy. Robin Li Yanhong, chairman and CEO of Chinese giant Baidu, told the conference that Baidu plans to launch unmanned cars in about 30 cities across the country in the next two to three years. The company is also going to release a car that looks like a robot. The smart electric car branded Jaidu Auto will see the light of day within two years and will embody the Chinese vision of cars of the future that will resemble robots because of the abundance of high-tech systems. In mid-June, Baidu introduced the Apollo Moon Drone with 5G support, one of the main advantages of which was the cost of 480,000 won, which is about $74,000. According to a company spokesperson, this is about a third of the amount required to produce an average car with a fourth-level autopilot. Over the next three years, the company plans to launch a cab service with Apollo Moon in major Chinese cities. The Chinese company SenseTime presented an AR Robobus, an autonomous minibus with augmented reality, at the Sense Auto exhibition and drove it around for all comers. All the windows in the cabin are screens with augmented reality elements. The bus can independently drive and stop in fixed areas with fourth-level autonomous driving. It will be used in commercial zones and scenic areas of cities such as Wuhi and Lihang. The Kuo Molo unmanned truck, which is used in Thailand and the Middle East, also caught the attention of visitors to the show. The Level 5 autonomous truck is equipped with a 360-degree sensor system, traffic monitoring, and traffic control systems. The company, which uses the uCloud artificial intelligence system, is looking for domestic and regional business opportunities. The Banma Network Technology, which develops an operating system for connected cars called Banma, unveiled a smart cab at the show. The system facilitates AR navigation, 
human interaction with the car, internet connectivity and in-car services, and automates various car functions such as engine starting, car diagnostics, lighting, seat adjustments, and more. Leading the Chinese e-commerce platform Weituan has unveiled drones and unmanned cars of its own design for delivery automation. The company plans to deploy a pilot low-altitude drone logistics network in Shanghai as early as this year. The three-tiered drone network, ground-based support infrastructure, including landing ports and battery charging stations, as well as cloud-based dispatch systems, will aim to achieve a 15-minute delivery time for destinations within a 3-kilometer radius. As of June 2021, Meihua drones have completed more than 200,000 flight tests and delivered more than 2,500 orders. A digital currency payment system was also presented at the exhibition with the purpose of buying any good with a very simple and straightforward method. Also at the exhibition, there were robotic baristas pouring great coffee for visitors, robotic masseurs with force control, research robot dogs, commercial robots for home and business from Deep Robotics, which by the way, we will shoot a live review soon, as well as many educational and home robots for children and adults. The total for 2020 in China were 1,149 registered artificial intelligence companies, as well as 104 educational programs at 38 different institutions across the country. And now for the rest of the news. Hong Kong recently unveiled a nurse robot based on the famous Sophia robot, and as early as next year, such humanoids will enter hospitals in Hong Kong, mainland China, Japan, and South Korea. The humanoid Grace will work with the elderly as well as patients who are in isolation. The robot will be able to take temperature, give tests, although it's not clear what type of tests yet. It will also be able to conduct therapeutic conversations and help medical workers. Scientists from Stanford University have printed an elastic artificial skin on a 3D printer. The development differs from all previous ones by the fact that one square centimeter of such a skin has more than 40,000 transistors and their number will be significantly increased. As a result, the developers plan to create a skin for implantable bioelectronics and wearable sensors. The new process of creating flexible circuits made it possible to stretch the skin sample to half its original size in different directions without cracking or delaminating the transistors. The electronics have remained stable even after thousands of repeated stretches. The first pizzeria, fully controlled by robots, has opened in Paris. Pazzi's new pizzeria is fully staffed with robots that perform all kinds of work, from taking orders to making dough and packing pizzas into the box. The developers of the pizzeria say the whole process is very fast and the robots guarantee a consistent quality of the product. The hardest part of the development was training the robots to work with live dough while still understanding its variation and the degree of quality as well as readiness. Abundant Robotics, a company that develops harvesting systems, announced its closure. According to the founders, the robots never managed to attract enough attention in the marketplace needed to sustain and grow the business. On June 29, Abundant put up for sale all of its intellectual property and assets, which include a large number of patents for vacuum manipulation, a patented sensor system that allows vacuum to navigate obstacles, and a patented world-class vision system for identifying fruit and its quality, and several other patents for software and automated operations. NASA's Mars rover Perseverance has completed the first launch of its most powerful AutoNav navigation software system in the history of exploration of other planets. The distance between Mars and Earth makes it impossible to control the rover in real time. The new and improved system makes three-dimensional maps out of the terrain ahead, identifies hazards, and plans a route around any obstacles right as it moves without additional guidance from any controllers back on Earth. This capability, combined with other improvements, could allow Perseverance to reach a top speed of 120 meters per hour, compared to the 20 meters per hour of its Curiosity predecessor. Engineers at the University of California, Berkeley, have taught the four-legged robot Mini Cheetah to jump obstacles autonomously. The new route planner of the robot consists of two elements. One paves the route on foot on a straight line, and the second is responsible for calculating the trajectory of the jump over obstacles that are not yet very high. 
The Mini Cheetah is also equipped with a depth camera, which the robot creates 3D and 2D maps of the space in front of it. All a human needs to do is set the point where the robot needs to get to, and it calculates on its own the route, based on the height of objects below and above it. BMW Design Works has presented a concept of the gaming chair of the future, Rival Rig or Rival Works AI. Among the advantages of the novelty are the design and style of a sports car in the first class adaptive ergonomics, the presence of a built in climate control, as well as artificial intelligence. In particular, algorithms control operation of the climate control system and control actuators responsible for comfortable seating of the user. The futuristic nature of the concept is upgraded by built-in RGB lighting. The British Ministry of Defense is investing $4.8 million in the Cooperative Strike Weapons Technology Demonstrator, or referred to as CSWTD, Defense Science Laboratory. It will develop new systems that allow missiles to interact with each other in flight. The latest smart weapon already collects data, assesses situations, and changes plans to achieve targets. To be effective, however, it must work as a team rather than waiting for a direct order from a human being. The goal of the new project is to investigate how to technically enable inter-missile communication and cooperative behavior for combat missions. South Korea's Hyundai Rotom supplied the National Army with two multi-purpose ground-wheeled robots for combat testing. The robots are powered with electricity and have 6x6 wheel configurations and weigh less than 2 tons. The vehicles reach speeds of up to 30 km per hour on the highway and up to 10 km per hour on rough terrain. At 5 km per hour, their batteries have enough charge for 6 hours of travel, and each robot can carry 600 kg of payload, as well as being armed with a remotely controlled combat module. By 2024, the robot should have mixed units of robots and humans. Ground robots and such units will conduct combat reconnaissance, carry ammunition and provisions, and perform other daily tasks. Promobot is going to develop a full-size walking humanoid robot by 2035. This was announced by the founder and development of director at Promobot, Oleg Kibokertsev. He noted, at the moment it's too early to talk about the cost of such a robot. The American food delivery service Grubhub has agreed to cooperate with Yandex. Now dozens of Yandex Rover robots will be delivering lunches to 250 college and university campuses in the United States. The robots will start working in the fall as soon as students return to school after vacation. Subscribe to the Pro Robot channel, like this video, and don't miss any more of the world's high-tech news.